Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You know what I was thinking? You know, nobody asked me, but I wanted to share my tips on how you can get your home ready for summer hosting. How many times have you entered someone's house and it didn't smell so great? The best way to ensure your home smells fresh is with an air purifier. I want to say a big thank you to LG for sponsoring today's video. LG just launched the Puricare Aero Tower purifying fan, which provides purified air where and when you need it, making it the perfect tool to help achieve a healthier home for yourself and even for your guests. Open concept floor plans are very popular right now. We actually have an open floor plan here in our home. However, odors from cooking can linger, and if you have pets like we do, they can also contribute to those unpleasant smells. These odors can really impact the comfort of your guests. The LG Aero Tower has a multi-stage true HEPA filter that captures 99.8. 97% of different types of particulates. For even more protection, LG's exclusive UV Nano LED technology kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria on the fan blades. It even has a deodorizing filter that helps get rid of bad smells and components of smog. The Aero Tower is certified asthma and allergy friendly, which is a huge plus for someone like me who suffers from allergies literally all year long. <laughs> what I love about the Aero Tower is how you can customize the airflow to fit your needs. It has three modes, direct mode for vertical airflow that can be stationary or oscillating, wide for indirect circulation from the top of the unit, diffusion to distribute the air in large spaces. The fan projects purified air to help cool on those especially hot days. As you can see, the air quality is shown here on the LCD display and will change from red to orange to yellow and then to green as the air quality of the air improves. The Aero Tower's sleek and streamlined design fits into any interior design style. The purifier is also super quiet, so the sound won't interfere with dinner conversations or distract you when a movie is on. I also love how you can monitor and control the Aero Tower in real time from your phone using the ThinQ app, which is available for Android or iOS. If you are feeling inspired, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box and check out the brand new LG Aero Tower. The next thing you want to do to prepare for your guests is to make sure you wow them at the entryway. You know that saying, first impressions are everything? Think about that when you are designing your entryway moment because it might be the very first time your guests are seeing your home. Consider a beautiful floral arrangement in your entryway, but not like this. This is a little too cluttered. You have this cliche home sweet home sign. It's just like, that is not a nice and inviting entryway. You know what I mean? Do something simple, do it yourself. Go to the flower market, go to Trader Joe's. You can even just clip a few branches in your backyard. Look at this one, it's so chic, it's inviting, it's simple. And look at this entryway with just like the olive branches. It's so nice, but I also love this entryway with the burl wood console table. It looks like some hydrangeas that you can get anywhere. It's inviting, it's very nice. Just make sure you put it in a really chic vessel. Take a look at this black one from CB2. It's great, it's modern. Or you can even go with this rustic style from Pottery Barn if this is more your taste. Your floral arrangements can be a great conversation starter. Imagine your guests coming in and they're like, wow, your florals are so pretty. And you can say, I actually did it myself. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Another way to wow your guests at the entryway is to make sure you have a mirror. It's a great way for your guests to have an opportunity to check themselves, make sure the hair is right, the makeup is good, and that they are ready to have a good time. Take a look at this arched mirror from 
crate and barrel. I actually saw this in person. I feel like a lot of tall big mirrors get warped, but not this one. This one is really beautiful quality. And if you have a smaller space, check this Amazon mirror find. It has this cool irregular shape. It's actually a very popular mirror that I recommend time and time again. This next tip is for when you are inviting people over for a very special event. I want you to consider having your Instagrammable moment. Your Instagrammable moment can be a space, a corner, maybe it's a little vignette that ties into the theme of your special event. This area can be a space for you and your guests to take a photo and share it on Instagram. Listen, we are living in the digital age. Everybody wants to pull out their phones, snap a photo and share it on social. Make it easy for your guests and make it that much more memorable by having a dedicated space to have that Instagrammable moment. Your Instagrammable moment can be as small or as big as you want it to be. Just make sure that it's thought out and it's not just those, you know, party city little hats and glasses. Like that's not chic, okay? Consider like a beautiful arrangement of balloons. They're so many ideas on Pinterest. You can even hire a company if you have the budget for that. Maybe it's your favorite vignette in your home where the furniture is just right. There's a nice little piece of art. And all you have to do is add a ring light and everybody will look amazing. This next tip I really love because it's perfect when you're having people over. And that is to have and create your signature cocktails. One time, Andrew and I hosted Thanksgiving and I had this idea of like creating two signature cocktails. We even printed it on a little menu. So when our family was over, we had so much fun creating these cocktails. Everybody was so impressed by the menu and they were ordering cocktails throughout the night and they talked about these menus year after year after year. My mom would be like, are you gonna do the cocktail menu again? And I highly recommend this tip. Go create a menu on Canva, have one or two cocktails and maybe the wines that you're gonna serve for the night and make it fun for your guests. Put the menu on the table and have them order the drink throughout the night it makes it so interactive and trust me, they are going to remember that. Think about the last time you were at a special event or even a restaurant and you open the drink menu. What's the first thing you look for? Their signature cocktails. Imagine creating that experience at home. Trust me, your guests, your family, they are going to love it. This next tip is all about your dinnerware. Forget all the rules of everything has to match, everything needs to be the same color. Try mixing and matching different tones, different materials even. My go-to for our dinnerware is actually CB2. It's not too expensive and you're getting quality materials. Take a look at this set that I have here. I have this caramel, bowl mixed in with this really lovely light pink and a light green. Mixing different tones, textures, and materials create a very curated experience when you are having your dinner. You can even have fun with the utensils. You can have fun with the carafe. Take a look at this like beautiful traditional carafe. I love the shape. It's from Menu, one of my favorite brands. After you've set up your really beautiful, interesting dinnerware on the table, another way to amp up your tablescape is to bring in a ton of nature. Yes, you can bring your beautiful florals, but let's say you are serving a citrus fish for the evening. Tie in those ingredients into your tablescape by bringing in some citrus onto the table. You can slice it up. It can be as 
minimalistic or as abundant as you want it to be. But tying in those elements into your tablescape really kind of create this experience for your guests. The last thing you might want to consider if you're getting ready to host this summer is make sure you set the mood for the event. If you're hosting a movie night, make sure you have a ton of throw pillows, a lot of blankets so that your guests can cozy up when you're watching a movie. Consider some throw pillows on the floor so everyone can get cozy. I'm gonna make fun of my mom here really quick because every time we go to her house in her TV room, she has this leather sofa and there's like no pillows, no blankets, and I'm just there like, you know, kind of cold and we're watching a movie. You wanna make sure your guests are comfy and they are ready to watch that two hour movie. When you're hosting a dinner, make sure you set the mood with lighting. Dim the lights down low. Light your favorite candles because everyone looks so, so beautiful in that warm, glow. You never want it to be like so bright when you are eating dinner. Just a little, just a little hint of that warm glow will go a long way. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips will help you host a fabulous summer get together. Thanks again to LG for sponsoring today's video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and don't go yet. Watch this video next and I will see you in that video. Bye everyone.